everyone, this is Kylene Dibble with Parents for Public Schools of Pitt County. We are continuing our spring 2021 school tour series, and I am so excited to be at J.H. Rose High School. I believe we're going to start our tour talking a little bit with Ms. Jacobson. Ms. Jacobson, tell us your role at Rose High School. Hello everyone, I'm Monica Jacobson, the principal at J.H. Rose High School. I'm serving in my eighth year as principal. This is my home in Pitt County. Um, I've had the opportunity to serve here as a teacher. I've been an assistant principal here and, um, and now I'm back as principal going into or finishing actually my eighth year. Wow, it's amazing. I started working with Ms. Jacobson when I first got here and it's amazing to know that she's been there for uh, eight years, what a great eight years. Um, Ms. Jacobson, a question that I frequently get, particularly about J.H. Rose, is about school size. So can you tell us about how many students are in your school? And if you were to think about most classes, about how many students are in a classroom? Well, we serve over 1,500 or 1,400 students at our school, almost 1,500. And our classes do range from about 20 to 35 students. It varies, but most classes are around the 25 um, average range. All right. And parents, I'll just remind you that while we are filming during a pandemic, the answers that you're hearing today are about a traditional school year. They may look a little different during a pandemic year, um, but they are about a traditional school year. Uh, I'll also go ahead and remind you that if you see folks in masks today, it is because they are following safety protocols. And if they're not wearing a mask, then they are somewhere alone um, and able to safely be without it. Let's flip back to a couple of other questions about Rose. Um, Ms. Jacobson, could you tell us a little bit about how JH Rose communicates with their families and parents? Well, we uh, love to keep everyone involved. Um, some people feel like when you transition to high school, when their children transition to high school, that they can't be in, involved as much. Um, we, we think parents should be just as involved. So we try to make sure that they're aware of what is going on. So one, we have a um, Sunday night message, a weekly message that goes out to um, share what the events, the upcoming events for the week are. Um, our academic boosters, which you'll hear more about our booster organizations um, from a parent in just a little while, but we have a academic booster newsletter that goes out monthly that also um, discusses our events and shares information about happenings with our students and recognitions that we have received. We also communicate with our parents um, through Canvas and Remind. So there are multiple opportunities or ways that our parents can stay connected. Um, with our Sunday night message, um, in the past, we used to just send um, the audio message to parents, but now we also send it with uh, send it by email so our parents, you know, the they can check it the next day if they're at work just to see what's going on for the week. Excellent. So lots of opportunities to hear from you and learn about all that's happening at the school and with your child, parents. So we are going to move now to talk with Miss Monroe. Miss Monroe, I wonder if you can tell us who you are and your role there at the school. And I think you're going to talk to us a little bit about all the logistics, the open enrollment, the curriculum. Um, the AP classes, all the nitty gritty good stuff that parents want to hear. Yes, ma'am. Um, thank you all for um, being with us. Um, we're glad that you want to know more about J.H. Rose High School. Uh, my name is Krista Monroe. I am um, the lead counselor um, here at J.H. Rose High School. And I'm actually going to share my screen with you, um, if you'll let me do that. Let's see. Okay, I hope everyone can see that. Um, I've got up our uh, JHRO's um, website, and uh, Ms. Jacobson mentioned how we communicate. Just want to reiterate that there is a lot of information on our website. So we definitely encourage students and parents to come um, to look to see some of the things that we have to offer. Um, under the uh, resources is where you will find information about student services. And so I'm going to click on that um, link there. Um, this is the J.H. Rose Student Services Weebly page. And if you'll click on who we are, this kind of tells you a little bit about our mission here in student services. Um, and then the beliefs from Pitt County Schools in terms of our vision and how the counseling program works. Um, as I mentioned, I am the lead counselor here. We are divided by alphabet grade nine through 12. So we follow students from the moment that they enter high school until they leave. 
And um, I'm one of four counselors, and we are, as I mentioned, divided by alphabet. So we have Ms. Grady, um, we also have Ms. Dudley, Ms. Manus, and then also Ms. Williamson. Um, we encourage parents to come here. Our email addresses are here. The phone numbers with our extensions are here as well. Um, additionally, within our student services, we have Ms. Green, who you'll meet later, um, who is our career development coordinator and, and works with our spe special populations. Her information and contact is there. And then we also have Mrs. Pam, um, and she does go by Ms. Pam. So coming to J. Trills High School, you will learn and love Ms. Pam. Um, but she's our registrar, and she will make sure anyone new coming into Rose is well taken care of. Um, additionally, we have some um, people that work as our student services secretary. Um, and then we have also our school nurse, Ms. Stocks, our school social worker, Ms. Grimes. And then we also have a um, career coach that's um, through Pitt Community College who works with our students and trying to help them in the process of um, doing dual, enro dual enrollment with them. So this information is very important in terms of our contact, but not only that, we um, make sure that we provide um, announcements and information as well to our students here. So we encourage our parents, we encourage our students get to know our student services Weebly page because you will, this is where you will come to find the bulk of our information. Um, in terms of our curriculum, we have a rigorous curriculum here at J. Trills High School. Um, we actually offer 27 AP courses, advanced placement courses. These are courses that are offered through College Board. Um, and, and this gives the students an opportunity to take a national exam to receive college credit. Um, we also have 72 honors courses um, on our campus. So we have a really um, rigorous program. We're proud of our students. They perform well on those AP exams. Um, and, we can, and we can say we're the best just because of that. They, they perform so well. Um, we are divide, We do our school year in block periods. So we have four classes in the fall and four in the spring. So a student has an opportunity to take as many courses as they possibly can um, prior to leaving J. Trose High School to have a rigorous trans, transcript. Um, we also have and are very proud that we offer the AP Capstone program here at J. Trose High School. It is actually one of 11 um, we're actually one of 11 schools um, east of Interstate 95 that have the AP Capstone program, and we are the only school in Pitt County that has the AP um, Capstone program. And we've asked um, our teacher that teaches that course, um, the, um, the AP seminar course, to kind of share some information about that. So I will share a video um, from her. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Hutchinson and I teach AP Seminar, AP English, and Journalism here at Rose. I'd like to talk to you today about the AP Capstone program. AP Capstone is made up of two courses, AP Seminar and AP Research, and we are one of the only schools east of I-95 who offers the AP Capstone program, and we're the only school in the county that offers the program. The program consists of two courses, AP Seminar and AP Research and you can get an AP Capstone certificate from taking those two classes. Or you can get an AP Capstone diploma for taking those two classes plus four additional AP classes and passing the exam. To be part of the AP Capstone program, that's gonna be something that sets students apart from their peers because so few students are able to participate in that program, partly because of uh, the amount of schools that are offering it in our area, and also because not all students are up to the level of rigor that is required of the AP Capstone program. What AP Capstone does is it kind of combines everything that you learn in your other classes and it takes your areas of interest and allows you to work on those areas where you want to focus. So if you have a strong interest in government, then you can do research in the area of government or law or environmental science. It also gives you the opportunity to build on some soft skills that are built into the curriculum where that might not necessarily be the case in all of our courses. AP Seminar focuses on teamwork, those skills of collaboration, of leadership, of communication, of organization, all things that you will need to have in college and in life. And 
those are not things that we necessarily get a chance to to use school programming in order to explore but in AP seminar we do have that available and then in AP research students use those skills to move forward and do a little bit more in-depth research in seminar you do the kind of research papers that most of you will do in college courses or an undergraduate program and then in AP research you do your own original research that is going to entail research that's more like what you might do in a graduate level program. Our AP Capstone program is one of my favorite things that we do here at Rose, and I think it's something that students typically have a very good experience with. Um, it's one of those ways that we work toward building community and being able to have student-centered, interest-driven learning here at Rose. All right, so obviously that is something that we're really proud of to be a part of the AP Capstone program. Um, and, and, and our students are doing well and performing well with that. It does completely set them apart from other students um, when it comes to the application process and showing some of the things that they've done in high school. Um, I want to speak a little bit about um, uh, private school information night and our open enrollment and our registration process. We are going to be hosting um, a night. Um, it is going to be a virtual night, um, private school information on March 11th at six o'clock p.m. We will have the link on our JH Rose um, website page. So that's once again, very important to be able to go there. Um, we will have information about how you will uh, enroll at JH Rose High School. For those students who are, and families who are not a part of the JH Rose um, district, they will have to uh, complete an open enrollment application. That application can be found on the Pitt County Schools website. And I'll be more than happy to show you all how to get there. Um, I've just clicked over to the Pitt County Schools website and under parent and students, you would scroll down to the open um, enrollment information page. And on that um, page, they'll have a statement here. And right now there is not a link to it, but beginning on March 1st, there is going to be a link um, in which you can do your application for open enrollment. And it is completely electronic this year. Um, and so this is where you would go to do that if you are not um, district to go to JH Rose High School. Um, once you have done your open enrollment um, and you have been approved to attend JH Rose High School, then there is going to be a process of completing an enrollment packet. Um, we will make sure that you get that information. You'll turn that in and then we in turn will schedule a time for you to meet with their, your counselor to get you enrolled. The um, process is very smooth. It runs um, pretty quickly. Um, and so if you will get that open enrollment done early, we'll make sure that you are um, become a part of ROSE pretty quickly in, in terms of that. Um, a little bit about scholarships, because I know that's something that's very important. Um, when we talk about seniors graduating and going off to school, we are very proud to have had over years past um, our seniors be offered millions of dollars in scholarships. Um, last school year, 1920 school year, we had over $5 million in scholarship dollars offered to our seniors. And this is because they have worked extremely hard. Um, so that speaks to the rigor, that speaks to our curriculum. Um, we've had Moorhead scholars, we've had Park scholars. And so these are those um, scholarships from universities that really set their student population apart. And so our students have, are you know, a part of that group of students there on their college campus. So our students do well, we, um, we encourage them, our teachers really push them um, to perform their best and they really, um, they really step up to the plate with that. Um, as a parent, and I'm gonna kind of speak as a parent a little bit, I do have a, a junior here at high school, in, at JH Rose High School, and I have two freshmen that are um, gonna be here next year. Um, and so I have to say that, you know, we're not slated to come. We are not district for JH Rose High School, but I would not send them any anywhere else. Um, I think this is just the best school and it's not because I work here. Um, I, I take that hat off and say as a parent, um, I without a shadow of a doubt would have my student come to Rose because I know they will be challenged and um, they're going to be um, well prepared for the world um, after high school.
Thank you so much, Ms. Monroe. It was great to hear about your perspective as a parent, but also as a counselor, um, and to learn all of the great information about ROSE and the many things that they offer. Um, parents who are watching, I do want to make one quick clarification because you might be watching this years after we film it. Um, that private school parent night is March 11th, 2021. So if you're watching this years in the future, it'll be a different date, but they'll still have it. <laughs> um, so reach out to us and, or, or them and we'll make sure you know about it. We are going to move on now to Mr. Leach. Um, and Mr. Leach is going to talk about something really great that they have there at JH Rose, the Link Crew, and also tell us about non-core electives. Thank you so much. My name is Randall Leach and I'm one of the uh, visual art teachers. There's two of us here right now. And I am also one of the co-coordinators for Link Crew program. Link Crew is a, it's a national program. Well, it's actually an international program now because they've explored uh, other areas outside of our country where you take upper level students, juniors and seniors, and you train them to be uh, helpers and mentors for the incoming freshman class. And these helpers and mentors do more than just teaching them uh, activities and things on the first day of school. They work with them throughout the whole school year. For example, we bring them in over the summer. This is before school starts and we have them go through an intense training, uh, team building process. And what they're doing is they're bonding themselves and building themselves up as leaders in order to work with the incoming freshmen during freshman orientation, which is a complete day for the freshmen where they have the school to themselves before school starts and the link crew leaders are taking them on tours, uh, team building with them, and they're, they're working with them on strategies on how to be successful. And what the, what the unique part about this is they're in their advisory classroom, meaning that that's the same group that they will be in for their advisory class throughout the whole year. And those same link crew leaders who were working with them on orientation day will stay with them throughout that, that whole year. And they're, they're simple things at the beginning of the school year. They teach them how to calculate their GPA and uh, doing all types of important need to know uh, activities with the freshmen. So it's a really great chance to um, have a student perspective and have a mentor. And I know a lot of link crew leaders who get messages from their freshmen, even once they, they graduate. So it's, it's really cool to see um, how the, the freshmen then grow up and then become link crew leaders when they are uh, juniors and seniors. So it's a fantastic program and uh, it's going strong. We, we are leading in um, continuing the efforts to, to make sure that the whole freshman, not just the academic freshman with the social and everything else that's, that's so necessary is, is, is implemented. So that's our link crew program. Um, and then we do have a link crew leader who is on here who will be able to speak in just a second. And so uh, I also will speak on the arts and extracurriculars. We have the, our, our performing arts, we have our, our fantastic concert band and uh, marching band and, and chorus, orchestra, theater, dance, um, and, and visual arts. And so all of them are doing performances throughout the school year. In our building, we have, uh, for example, theaters doing a fall play and then a spring uh, play, which is usually a musical. Um, and then the concert band and performing band uh, and orchestra and chorus and dance, they're doing things here at school and also in the communities throughout the year. The, the marching band performs at football games. And so it's a fantastic program for you to come in and take classes, take upper level classes, honors level classes, but also have some extra career things outside of school to, to engage in. So really strong arts program. Um, we have an all levels AP honors and um, AP studio for the visual arts. We have AP studio art and AP art history. And then we have also AP music theory as well. Um, we offer uh, of the others like the, the PE classes and we have world languages classes. We have JROTC and yearbook and then journalism, uh, nationally recognized journalism program. Um, all of these are, are here and offerings. Our Spanish Honor Society is uh, involved year round. Um, so wonderful world language program. And one of the things that I can speak on personally from our department is the, the arts. We developed the National Art Honor Society magazine. So we're in the virtual space now. This is something that we weren't doing before. And so now we will continue creating a magazine that's gonna help to publish our student artwork. And so these are some of the things that you'll be able to get your students involved in if they're interested in coming over to the arts. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Leach. Your enthusiasm for all that you do there at JH Rose shows through every single time you do a school tour, and it's no different when we're doing it virtually. Um, and parents watching, that's what you see from every teacher at JH Rose High School. They are so glad to be there and so enthusiastic about what they do. We have a very special person to talk to right now, um, someone whose perspective at the school probably matters more than anyone else on this call. Uh, we have a student, Brenna Golland, with us. Brenna, I wonder if you can tell us a little bit about student life there at JH Rose, extracurriculars, clubs, things that you love. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ms. Dibble. Um, my name is Brenna Golland. I'm a junior here at JH Rose High School. Very excited to be chatting with you all today about student life here at JH Rose and some of the things that our students are able to be involved in during their four years here. Um, as Mr. Uh, Leach mentioned, we have an incredible program called Link Crew that I wanted to specifically highlight today. Um, Link Crew, as Mr. Lynch, Mr. Leach mentioned, is an organization that pairs upperclassmen with incoming freshmen. Um, and, you know, it's not just a program that is, okay, here is, you know, what a GPA is, here's what the ACT is. It's something that you're able to connect with an upperclassman with throughout your four years here, but also beyond. I actually still keep in touch with my link crew leader from my freshman year. Um, and so going into JH Rose and having an entirely new environment and school environment from my middle school was very different. Um, but with my link crew leader, with meeting with her every week and getting to ask those questions of, okay, I really enjoyed this teacher. Do they offer any other courses? Or what should I take after this class um, and then answering those tougher questions like what is a GPA or what is the ACT? How do I prepare for these things um, was just a really, really important experience that I had as a freshman. And then two years later, as a junior, I'm able to help the freshmen that are here as well, which is I personally believe is one of the things that makes JH Rose so special is the incredible um, bond that our students have with each other. To talk a little bit about student life as a junior, I've had the incredible opportunities to be able to kind of bounce from the different organizations and clubs that we have to offer. Um, I truly believe that there is a club for every single student, whether that student is interested in science or the healthcare worker field. And we have specific organizations and clubs like that, for instance, HOSA um, and Health Science Academy. We're students who are interested in career and technical, or excuse me, career and um, you know business related clubs. We have FBLA, um, and that is something that helps students both in their classroom and during their time in high school, but also and beyond teaching things like resumes and how to do a proper interview for clubs. Um, for students who enjoy reading and books, we have the Authors Club. When you're a junior um, or if you're a senior who has the requisites that are available and needed, honor societies begin to come begin to become available, such as National Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, Rho Kappa, um, the Mu Alpha Theta Honor Society. These are all specific for certain subjects. So students who have a high um, liking for science are able to join the Science Honor Society and work with other students who may be struggling in that class, need a little bit of extra help, or Rho Kappa if they have an immense um, love for social studies and history. That's a club that's more focused for history loving students. Um, and so as I mentioned previously, there truly is a club for every single student. Um, and the advisors and the teachers just work so hard to create an environment that's opening and welcome for every single student, regardless of their preferences. And I've had such an incredible um, impact and just experience with administrators and with teachers implementing new courses that are, excuse me, new clubs I'm um, hoping to bring to this school. And they've all been just so open and willing to listen. And I cannot reiterate enough um, just how important it is to be involved in clubs and organizations and not just for the fact of putting that on your resume, but also being able to enjoy yourself um, and have a break from sometimes that schoolwork and the course loads. Um, also getting to meet lots of people and then again joining a club that's going to help you in your future years, such as FBLA or something beyond that. Brenna, that was such a wonderful plethora of activities that are available there at Rose. Um, there is one thing that I'd like to ask you about that is a little bit unique to Rose. There's this whole time of the day called refresh. And I wonder if you can just very briefly tell our viewers exactly what refresh is from a student viewpoint. 
Yes, ma'am, absolutely. So I absolutely love Refresh. Refresh is an hour and a half between second and third period where students are divided up into A, B, and C block. And then using a virtual platform or a website, students are able to select exactly what three um, places that they want to go during their refresh time, one of them being a lunch. And this is really, really helpful for students who might play a sport and are missing part of fourth period to go to an away game. They're able to go to the next refresh session with your teacher and maybe make up a test or get retaught a lesson. Um, as I mentioned, clubs and student life before, this is a time for students to go to their advisor's classrooms for club meetings or get extra help in maybe a class that they're struggling with. So with Refresh, having that hour and a half in the middle of the day is not only a nice break between second and third period, but it's also a really, really amazing way for students to be able to get extra help from teachers. Being able to utilize that when it was first implemented my freshman year was very, very beneficial. Um, and it's also a fun social environment. As again, you know, if for students who are missing class, possibly for sports, um, holding club meetings during this time is really awesome because this doesn't take away from any instructional time during the day. And for students who may have a hard time getting rides to school or after school, this is a really awesome way to make sure that all students are included and um, in getting this wonderful information that they need from their teachers and or clubs. Thank you. You did an excellent job representing the student body of Rose there, Brenna. Thank you for being with us today. Um, I believe we're going to move now to Ms. Green, who's going to tell us about a really unique piece of uh, J.H. Rose High School, the career and technical education classes. So Ms. Green, take it away and tell us what's available. Thank you, Ms. Dibble. I am Fran Green. I'm the career development coordinator here at J.H. Rose High School. So I work very closely with the Career Technical Education Department, and I also work with Pitt Community College Career and College Promise, or dual enrollment, as you have heard in the past, um, helping students um, get signed up for those classes and those types of things. Today, I am in one of the three health sciences classrooms that we have here at Rose. We have a strong health sciences program in our CTE department. Um, this is Ms. Beasley's room. As you can see, we have a hospital bed. We have a patient, which is a mannequin. It's not a real person. And our students um, get to work on these uh, mannequins as well as each other with social distancing, of course, to further their education on possible medical careers and these types of things. Um, within the Career Technical Education Department, in each of the program areas, you will see that it is a specific interest of the child. And we also encourage them to explore other areas that they may not have thought they were interested in, but actually found that that was their niche now. So within the health sciences department, one of the things that you can do if you complete the pathway, and you're gonna hear a lot about pathways and concentrations while you're in high school, Career technical education is a great way to complete that graduation requirement. But with the pathway of health sciences, the end result is you could become a certified nursing assistant before you ever leave high school. And you could also become a pharmacy technician before you ever leave high school by taking this particular pathway. With these two certifications, you can move on if you're planning to go to nursing school or physical therapy school or, or any um, medical health career, this will be helpful because you will already have the background. We also offer um, Adobe Academy for the graphic artist. If you're a graphic artist and that's something that um, you want to do, we have that program. Our business and marketing department is huge here. We offer Microsoft, Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel, we also offer marketing and sports and entertainment marketing classes for those that are inclined toward the business area. And our computer science program, computer engineering is top notch over here. We also offer early childhood education for those who think that they may want to go into elementary education or possibly work or run a daycare, those types of things. We have interior design for those types of artists. We have foods and nutrition, as well as culinary arts. And we also have a very active construction department and woodworking pro, um, department. Um, they are constantly building buildings for homes. And as we all know, in the age of doing virtual tours, we can certainly hit an internet glitch. 
Um, and so I hope that you learned a lot from Ms. Green about the great programs that they have there at Rose um, in the career and technical education field. There's so much to do, whether it's in health sciences or auto body or carpentry, they do amazing things there. Um, I believe we're gonna go back to Ms. Monroe at this point and hear a little bit about athletics there at Rose. Yes, ma'am. I am going to um, share with you a video from our athletic director. I'll pull that up for you. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> um, and so I hope you can still see my screen. Can everyone see my screen? Awesome. All right. <clears throat> Hi, families. Um, welcome to Rose High. This might be your first look in our school. I want to talk to you about the athletic department here. My name is Clay Bedford, and I'm the athletic director. Um, here at Rose, we are known for quite a few things around the state, academics being one, and certainly athletics being another. Uh, we've got a rich tradition of athletic history here at Rose with 19 team state championships, as well as other, multiple other individual state championships in track, swimming, chess, baseball, football, volleyball, throughout the course of our year. Um, we've got a rich tradition of not only on the field excellence, but also community support. One thing that separates our athletic program from multiple others is the community and the generations that come back to support. We've got a fantastic business club that does a tremendous job of raising money and giving support to all of our athletes and facility upgrades. We're constantly trying to improve everything we have here, as everyone is. And a few things that set us apart here at Rosie, we have multiple fields for multiple teams. We don't have to share fields very often. We have the cross field, we have soccer field, we have the football field, we have an indoor practice facility that a lot of schools don't have in that area, um, which has been very beneficial for stormy days and rain and ice delays, but to keep our teams and everybody from soccer to baseball to softball to football and everybody else outdoors. Um, you know, one thing that is really big in the world of athletics in high school is the growth that we see from students from their freshman year to their senior year. You know, when freshmen come in a lot of times, they've got their group friends, and, and then throughout the course of the years, we see groups evolve and groups expand, and you know, well-rounded students certainly come from our athletic career. Um, we've got tremendous support from our faculty, from our faculty, and we've got tremendous support from our administration, and nobody likes to see athletics excel more than we do here at Rose. We offer a variety of sports, most, the most sports that anybody offers in the East. We've got men's and women's. Um, lacrosse, we've got softball and baseball, we've got soccer, football, indoor track, um, volleyball, indoor wrestling, um, and wrestling, indoor track. We've got a variety of sports. We've got 35 teams total here um, at Rose, and we field them every year on the JV and varsity level. So we'd like to welcome you to Rose. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you. All right, it's always exciting to learn about athletics in high school, whether you're playing or your student is attending, um, it's a big piece. So we're thankful that we got a chance to learn a little bit about that. Um, to wrap up our tour, we are going to talk with another really special person whose perspective means so much. Um, Heather Eveleth is a parent at J.H. Rose High School. And Ms. Eveleth, just tell us all about your experiences there as a parent and what's been good for you. Hey, um, thank you so much. My name's Heather Eveleth and my husband, Chris and I um, have four kids. Three of them have graduated from Rose High School. I think this is our ninth year at Rose. Our fourth and final child is, in the, is a sophomore at Rose and I just can't say enough great things about it. Um, I currently serve as the co-president of the advisory board. My husband serves um, on athletic boosters board um, there are so many great ways to be involved at Rose as a parent, and I can't encourage you enough to do that. Um, there, like I said, and I think it's been mentioned a few times that the booster clubs that you can be involved in, um, advisory academic boosters, athletic boosters, there's um, orchestra, um, band, um, I'm sure I'm leaving off some, but as a parent, um, my husband and I have been able to be involved in a lot of different great things. And whether that's supporting our kids at athletic events, um, there's a great golf tournament that you can sign up to be a part of. 
um, academic advisor or academic boosters does um, a breakfast for um, kids who are on the honor roll um, when we aren't virtual, but um, there's opportunities to sign up to be a part of that. Um, I've been able to help decorate for the prom um, at different times, like when my kids, when it was their turn to be able to do that. Um, there's a cleanup committee that um, kind of takes care of the grounds outside of Rose that you can get involved in on the weekends and your kids get um, credit oftentimes too for doing some of those things and so um, I just can't say enough great things and um, there's something for everybody and if you're not um, serving in a capacity there's a lot of great things to support at Rose High School. Thank you so much Miss Eveleth. It really sounds like they're is something for every parent, no matter what their schedule and their interests and their child's interests. And that's important to parents, even as you know, Ms. Jacobson said, parents sometimes think, oh, it's high school, I can't be involved, but you absolutely can. Um, and parents, you've heard me say multiple times, even up through high school, introduce yourself to your child's teachers and counselors and administrators right there at the beginning of the year to establish relationship. Um, we are going to wrap up now and go back to Ms. Jacobson. And Ms. Jacobson, I just wonder if you have other things to share with parents or any parting words. Well, I think our other guests here today have just shared it all. Um, I think as everybody can have, have heard from our speakers today that we are a very comprehensive, robust high school that we it's, you know, obviously we have an excellent academic program, but we also have a great athletic program and other organizations for our students to be involved in. And we're really about, you know, engaging the child, like Mr. Leach said, when he was speaking about the freshman, we're there to serve the whole child. And that's for any student here that um, we want to engage them. There's something that they can find that um, they have an interest in or have an opportunity to explore and find new interests. And it's about excellence here. We have a tradition of excellence, whether you're talking about on the field or in the classroom or at some type of social event. Um, so I just want families to know that we have a place here at Rose. We feel we believe that we are a family and um, we hope that you are interested in being a part of our family. We welcome you to our family. And we also, uh, although things are different right now, we do have an open door policy. Um, as I said, we serve over 1400 students, but we strive to make sure that every one of our students feel like they're that one person um, that the focus is on. And with that, we have five administrators that are here to help do that. We have our five counselors and the other um, student services individuals that Ms. Monroe um, shared about. We have over you know 90 teachers and then other staff members at our school that are here to serve our students. And as Ms. Evelyn shared, our parent um, body is very involved. And so um, we invite you to get involved with Rose as well. And just know that our doors are open um, at any time if you wanna come talk to us, even if it's you know by phone or maybe it'll be through a virtual call. And parents, of course, if you have other questions about JH Rose High School, uh, Ms. Jacobson, Ms. Monroe, any of these folks on the call today would be more than happy to answer your questions. You can also reach out to Parents for Public Schools of Pitt County, and we're always happy to connect you to any Pitt County Schools employee who might be able to answer your specific questions. Thank you for joining us for the J.H. Rose High School tour today. Thank you to everybody who participated in the tour and made it such a great experience, and have a great day.